Lucy is sending Chef Manoush and I to some celebrity's house. Of course, we never get details when working with celebrities. They like to be as vague as possible. Hi. Hi. Amanda, nice Jessie, to meet nice you. Jesse, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice, nice, nice to meet Manoush, you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. So this young woman answers the door. Her name is Amanda. Not famous, so I figured probably an assistant. A lot of times, we don't meet the celebrity client until we're serving the food. I'm having a birthday party for my dad. You know, my dad's a musician. He's on tour. I haven't celebrated his birthday with him in years, five years at least. I never ever get to see him. He's never ever home, but he happens to be in LA. So the whole family, we're getting together. Do you mind if I ask who is your dad? Uh, he's Meatloaf. So, <laughs> so we're gonna have fun with this one, I hope. I hope you I love Meatloaf. That Bad Out of Hell album is awesome! And the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Come on! This is actually gonna be the funnest thing that I've done in a very long time. I Thank you for that. Having. We better yeah. run and get started. Chef Manushka and I have been hired to cook for rock legend Meatloaf's birthday. I knew right off the bat, without a question in my mind, I was going to make some meatloaf. In fact, we're not just gonna have one meatloaf, we're gonna have four meatloafs. Four meatloafs. The real crime would be to not have meatloaf. I know, but we have four different meatloafs. Like, I know, and it's gonna be amazing. I don't think this is the best idea, but if we gotta make meatloaf for meatloaf, I gotta go in a different direction. So I decided I'm gonna do a salt fish and aki loaf and a pumpkin and cranberry loaf. Fish, you got a fish loaf and a pumpkin loaf. Yeah. Fish loaf. Just saying the word fish loaf makes my stomach turn a little bit. A fish loaf. I make you a fish loaf. It's a loaf with fish in it. I'm going a little more traditional with my loaves and actually using meat. So I'm making a veal and couscous loaf and a turkey and pancetta loaf. We're both making something we've never made before. Let's put a little wager on it. See, he's got a little bit of a uh, little arrogance going on. So I decided, want to set up a little wager? Hold on one second. I have a really good idea, actually. I brought something just in case. Hold on. Now, in my excitement for preparing this party for meatloaf, I decided to really take my homage to meatloaf to the next level. What the hell is wrong with you? It's my meatloaf outfit. Oh, poor Jesse. Whoever loses the meatloaf competition has to serve dessert and like the rock and roll, like meatloaf, like outfit. Simple bet, fun bet. Nobody gets hurt and a tribute is made. Ugh, this stinks. I look like meatloaf kind of, right? Have you ever seen meatloaf? What's wrong with you? I totally look like meatloaf. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Anyways, or at least an enthusiast. <laughs> so, that's the wager. Let's put our wigs where our loaf is. Tonight, it's Meatloaf's birthday, and we are making him meatloaf. The trick to my the meatloaf that I like is one, I never use ketchup on it, like the old now school. Now you finish it with ketchup? No, Ugh. I, I use fresh too. herbs in all of it. I wanted to do an original take on the veal loaf, so I decided to use couscous as a binding agent instead of the traditional breadcrumb or pinko. Traditionally, most people use ketchup on the loaves. Well, I'm using maple glazed pears to add a sweet edge to it and also help keep the loaf moist. Well, I guess they can't complain. I'm sure he's never had a meatloaf with pears on top of it. Yeah, who needs ketchup? I'm going to make these meatloafs into works of art. I'm gonna make this meatloaf sing like meatloaf. Meatloaf, meatloaf, meatloaf. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One of the best parts of being a chef is just to challenge yourself and come up with flavors. So we had to stand by that. Meatloaf is going to have meatloaf you've never had before. So I start to make my salt fish and aki loaf. Instead of egg, what I'm using to bind is aki, which is a Jamaican fruit, which goes really well with codfish. I had this really great recipe that my mom makes for codfish. I'm like, OK, let me try it with breadcrumbs to make it a loaf. Combining the two with a little bit of mayo, some island seasoning, some Creole seasonings, I knew that this was going to be a rockin'. So I'm there chopping, and then all of a sudden I feel this presence. Like... Hi. Hi. Meatloaf has entered the building. How are you? What are you, oh, what are you, hey. what are you making? Oh, meatloaf. What? <laughs> well, we're... No, 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 please don't no. go, please. Oh. Wait, no, don't go. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, what did we do? Manushka and I are preparing a birthday dinner for meatloaf, but when he found out we're making meatloaf, he walked out of the kitchen. Wait, oh. no, don't go. Oh, I 
I knew that was gonna happen. That's, are you, no. is he joking? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Well, thank God meatloaf was only kidding. <laughs> because the entire menu is sort of wrapped around a meatloaf theme here. You know some babies are bright red when they're born. So I stayed red longer than normal. Wow. And so my dad started calling me meat. Everybody called me meat. And later on, the loaf came from some football coach. I stepped on his foot. And he screamed, get off my foot, you hunk of meatloaf. Wow. And that's a true story. And I have never been able to get rid of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we're, what are we doing tonight? We're, we're having meatloaf. Meatloaf. Dinner. <laughs> kind of meatloaf is that? Well, this that? is actually, this is like a, a turkey Italian meatloaf. Ooh. Get that it? sounds cool. Right? OK, what else you got to go with it, though? We have a fish loaf, which is ackee and Did you make that? Cods, yes. Even, even. Okay, <laughs> no, you I'm, I'm just of... gagging a little bit. OK. Oh, it's OK. <laughs> A lot of times at parties, you feel invisible. Like, the client doesn't want to know that you're there. You're just to help. But this guy was really cool, and he's really enthusiastic. He was a little zany, and I really liked it. I'm, I'm just waiting for dinner. You guys surprised me. OK. All right. You All got right. it. I love Meatloaf's energy. He's just the kind of guy who doesn't take himself too seriously. It's the Meatloaf! It's like the best day ever. That was ever. awesome. But we got to get cooking. No, we gotta that get was cooking. awesome, but we got to get cooking. Oh I got inspired to infuse some Italian elements into the turkey loaf. So I added a lot of traditional Italian herbs and spices. And for a great visual effect, I put hard-boiled eggs in the center of the loaf. So you have this really great display when you present it on the plate. And I also added pancetta to the mix. The guests start to arrive. First, there's Debbie Meatloaf's wife. And Meatloaf's other daughter, Pearl, walks in with her husband, who happens to be, like, my favorite guitarist of all time. It's Scott Ian from Anthrax. Dude, like, my little inner 13-year-old just went nuts right now. The guitarist from Anthrax is at the head of the table. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on. I mean, this is awesome. I mean, Meatloaf and Scott Ian. Milo. Oh my God! This is I so don't know awesome. Anthrax. I don't. How do you not know Anthrax? Whitney Houston? No. No. Okay, I don't. I don't know. Man, I love this job. <laughs> I love this job so much. It's Meatloaf's birthday, and for the appetizer, I'm doing lobster stuffed eggplant. My lobster stuffed eggplant is going to be outrageous. Such a beautiful, decadent dish. The stuffed eggplant was almost like a mini lasagna. The eggplant was used as lasagna noodles. I stuffed it with buffalo mozzarella, pan-seared lobster, I wrapped it in bacon, I seared it again in a rosemary-infused butter, and then I baked it. I plated it next to really nice rosemary oil and garnished it with fried rosemary. Oh! Yo! Yo! We're ready to start. All okay. right. It is Come on! First round coming out. No! Want some help? No. no we're, uh, I'm just putting the final touches on this here. Okay, see, well, don't, do we need final touches? We absolutely do. Okay, well, then we're ready. Thank you. It What's this? Out. Lobster stuffed eggplant. You have an extra? I might. Would you like to try one right now? Yeah. All right. Well, here, with, you can eat yeah, it with your hands. Why, what the heck? Why not? It's not? We're all friends here. Okay. If anybody tells I had one before I get in there, you're mine. This secret is safe with me. Okay. <laughs> This lobster eggplant was flavorful, colorful, and beautiful. Wow, I never had one of these before. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. Mm. Who knew lobster and bacon and rosemary? Mm. Yeah. Oh my god, that was really it's a good combination. Eggplant. Melt in your mouth. Yeah. So the food's being served, everyone's enjoying it. So far, this concert is going off without a hitch. We gotta talk about how we're gonna plate the meatloafs. Mm hmm We said from savory to sweet, right? Savory to sweet. And remember, my dear, we have a wager going on with those meatloafs. Oh, yeah, we do. So bring it. We decided to arrange the meatloafs in a savory to sweet order. So we started with my turkey and pancetta meatloaf, followed by Chef Manushka's Aki fish loaf. Then we went to my veal loaf topped with maple glazed pears, and we ended with Manushka's pumpkin and cranberry loaf. All right, well, good luck to both of us. On our meatloafs. Hey, may the meat be with you. <laughs> Out the meatloafs go, but I'm not too worried. I mean, there's no way that he's gonna love a fish loaf over the veal and couscous. You put fish together and it's not even a, a loaf, it's like a cake. What's this one? This is a fishy one. Fish, fish like turkey's a little dry. A wee bit. Got any ketchup? He puts it on everything. 
Amanda. Yes, Daddy. Why don't you go see if they're gonna catch it? All right. Amanda comes walking right in. So I hate to insult a fabulous chef, but there's been a request at the table. Do you guys have ketchup? Oh, just awful. Awesome. I'm sorry. Turkey's a little bit dry. Turkey's a little dry. It's a little dry. A mm. little bit, a little bit. Okay. So that's. Is the... that what the ketchup's for? <laughs> that's what the ketchup's for. That's all right. Oh man, I'm so winning this bet. As long as you're happy, we're happy. Now I only have one chance to win this meatloaf competition, and everything is riding on that veal and maple glaze pear loaf. As we wait to find out which meatloaf, meatloaf like best, I'm getting started on dessert. I honestly haven't made a baked Alaska in 10 years. I've never had before. a baked Alaska. Really? Oh, it's so good. Baked Alaska is a very difficult dish to pull off because you have a layer of cake and you have a layer of ice cream and then you top the whole thing with a meringue and bake it for just a couple minutes. If you don't do this right, then the ice cream is going to melt and you're just gonna have a big, nasty mess. So the timing has to be precise. Okay, now guys, first of all, uh, let's see. How, how was it? I tasted the veal and I, oh, that's really good. And that may be my favorite. And then I had the fish one and I went, oh no, that's amazing. Are you kidding me? You like the fish loaf? My favorite loaf of the night probably was the one where I said I was gonna gag, but I didn't, that was the fish one. Meatloaf, you're killing me here. Ooh, I won this bet. And I'm looking at Chef Jesse and Chef Jesse's like, it looks good, kill. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. That's okay, sometimes Sometimes the happens. truth hurts. It does. It does. But I'm so full that I can't be funny anymore. Okay. <laughs> That's can we hug? Yeah, I can give you a hug. Thank you so much. So Manushka, of course, is gloating and she's happy. She's like, I told you. It's pretty you funny. don't have your wig on. I can see clearly now. Oh, you cheated? Oh, I, I cheated. You, you saw cheated? me. I cheated. You flirted with him? Okay. <laughs> you distracted him? Jesse. He's such a sore loser. Go put your weave on and let's get let's get this party cranking because it just started. Because I want the bet. Get it together, boo. Get it, get it together. There was no way she was gonna let me out of that wager. Into the meatloaf costume I went. <laughs> rock out. The hair was on, the spikes were on, and I was ready to rock. Our final. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you Cher? I know, no, I'm you! I'm you! You're doing Cher? I don't know how you guys do the long hair, though. How do you rock like that? Uh, and I have to admit, I've been practicing Cher a little longer than I've been practicing meatloaf. Thank you guys for a beautiful night. You guys thank rock! You. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. That was the best dinner party ever. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. Happy birthday. Oh, you too. I hope you had fun. Mm, I did. You don't get the opportunity to actually cook for legends that often. This is a night that I will never forget. Ow! <laughs> Something wrong with you?